put you back out there after benching you on Saturday um, or Sunday? feel good, you know, uh, just to see that he trusts me. You know, he got, got a lot of faith in me to go out there and play um, and get the job done on, on Thursday. Um, at the end of the day, we all are here trying to win, and, um, you know, that's, that's the mindset for the team. You've had time to kind of look back on it. What happened on Sunday? Uh, it was all around, but it started off with me just not converting on them third downs, you know, just getting the drives going. Uh, you know, we can't start off slow like that. You know, I got to start off fast, be able to convert on third down. Um, we had an opportunity, you know, something just didn't go right. And from there, you know, the interceptions, uh, I've been doing a good job in the past few games of protecting the football and not forcing things. You know, I've been, I felt like I just started to press and started to try to do too much as a player. In the starting quarterback, uh, have you addressed the flatness that, as you put it, uh, that came out with the Bengals? Um, I think we all we all we all feel it, and we all uh, we all know how how we came out. And I know I think it'll be addressed at some point. You know, going into the game on Thursday, you know, uh, with, with with us having walkthroughs and things like that right now, it's it won't be able to. It would do it. It would do us no justice. So for us to go out there and have had that energy on Thursday, you know, we need it. You know, we thrive off that, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Looking for Lord, looking looking forward to the guys that go out there and compete and play hard. With it being a short week, is there any way that you personally prepare differently? Do anything differently physically? Nah, nothing physically, nothing different preparing wise on a, uh, when it comes to the mental. Uh, you know, just continuing to just grind, grind it out, and uh, take advantage of the time. You know, it's a short week, and um, for me, it's just. If I got to work out, if I got to work, it's harder. Double, double the time for me in, in this building. That's that is what it is. So for me, I'm gonna put the work in and make sure I'm prepared on uh, Thursday. In some ways, does it make it kind of easier to flush what happened this past week? It do, it do. You know, I'm not. I'm not I flushed it honest, honestly once I got to the bench on, on on Sunday. You know, I flushed it, and uh, you know, me as a me as the player I am, I've been benched before. And it's really, it's something you learn from. It's something that you grow from, and. Uh, Something that you don't, you don't want to have that feeling again. So, for me, just go out there, play good football, continue to play good, and continue to just go out there, and ex extend drives, and and you know create some uh, plays for the offense. When did you say, or where did you say you flushed it? I flushed it by the time I, you know, me me having the time on that sideline, thinking, you know, just sitting there, knowing what I did wrong, knowing knowing my 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 focus wasn't there, my lack of focus was there, and uh, you know. It was just me not, just me over, overthinking things and over, trying, over, overdoing things as well. So for me, it's just to go out there and take what they give me. Just go out there and play smart, play fast, and you know, just play free at the same time. How encouraging was it for you to turn on the tape of the Falcons game from what nine, <laughs> ten days ago? At least the second half tape. Yeah. Uh, it was encouraging, but you know, I think. I'm capable of that type of performance every week, you know. So for me, I just got to go out there and do it. Um, you, know, th you know, for me, it's just go out there and do my job and uh, be resilient, you know. Things happen throughout football games. Uh, try, not to, try not to be phased. Just go out there and play and uh, go get the win. You the benefits of playing the Falcons again. You were so close and you yeah. just saw them less than two weeks ago. It's very beneficial because, you know, we just – the game plan is the game plan. We know what they – we know what they like to do defensively, um, and I'm pretty sure it's the same thing for them. They know what we like to do offensively. So for us, it's just to go out there and better team win. You go out there and play on Thursday, play hard, and uh, we'll see the outcome at the end of the game. I know you haven't played in all night games, but you've been part of the weekly grind. And yep. You guys have a very late bye week. Have you noticed uh, any differences because you have that bye week so late in the season? I think this is the third year in a row we've had this type of schedule. So for us as a team, we, we, we expected it. And um, it is what it is. You know, we got to fight through it. Uh, guys banged up. They got to find ways to get back out there on the football field. And um, we can't we can't sit there and think about a bye week that's four or five weeks from now when we got a game to play on Thursday night. Um, we have probably had a weekend off, take advantage of that. Uh, Enjoy the enjoy the time off that you have, but you know you gotta get back get back and get ready to go on Monday. So, for us, it's it is what it is. You know this is this ain't the first time we've gone through a schedule like this. PJ, you mentioned like the need to be resilient. Can you think of like another time in your career where you had to bounce back from something that was quite as tough to go through as that last first half? Uh, put me on the spot, but uh, 
it's been a it's been I've had a couple of games in my in my career where you know uh, bad things just happen and you know as a as a as a quarterback you cannot let that affect you um, as a football player in general you cannot let that affect you you know uh, so for me it's just go out there and be you don't go out there and change your game don't go out there and take your aggressiveness away t- but be aggressively smart you know and that's the way you got to approach this uh, this week. Primetime game for you guys this yeah. year. Is there any juice that comes with that? Absolutely. You know, just the opportunity to go out there and play on Thursday night in front of the front of the world. I, I, in my opinion, you know, you know, it's gonna be a lot of guys hyped up and uh, on both sides of the ball. So we just, I'm looking forward to. I think we played them a couple years ago uh, on a Thursday night. So the energy gonna be there, and uh, we just gotta go out there and take advantage of it and have fun. Talk about you know focus kind of being the issue for you in that first half. Like when when does that come into play? Is that pre-snap? Is that after the ball is snapped and you're kind of diagnosing? When when is that kind of sharpening or not? Uh, it's it's more pre-snap for me. Um, you know, because once the ball snap, you can react and do things. But um, you know, pre-snap, you got to make sure your mind is always on seeing seeing what you got to seeing what you done saw on film all week. You know. Uh, I was just trying to see too much on Sunday, and um, and I haven't been doing that. You know, I've been I've been narrowing my scope, and you know, seeing 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 certain things that I needed to to get me my keys for coverages and things like that. So for me, it's just narrow it down. Don't think about it too much. Just go out there and play. So, you know, for me, it's just see a little, see a lot. I know you're on the offensive side of the ball, but when you see coaches fired after the performance, what does that do in the locker room? Um, it's tough. You know, it's tough, especially for a group of guys that actually you know care for their coaches and. Things like that. It's tough, but you know, it's like I said with, with the coach rule situation. Not to bring it up, but uh, you got to continue to play. You know, we got a game Thursday. It was a quick turnaround, and uh, just get out, get out there and get ready to go on Thursday. You know, it's things happen. You know, we just got to find ways to go out there and overcome them. Have you ever played in a prime time game? Have I ever played in a prime time game? <laughs> not in, not in NFL. No. So look, I have played in a few. So it's football is football, whether it's Temple, XFL, NFL, uh, the eyes are always on you. So I'm just looking forward to it. I'm time, huh? Pop. Go ahead, Mike. I would say you talked about looking at that second half tape from Atlanta and being kind of inspired and looking at the first half from Cincinnati and flushing it. Yeah. In your eyes, did you, did you recognize yourself Sunday compared to how you played previously? Yeah, I have. I did. And uh, for me, it's just, I knew it just wasn't me. I knew I knew my, my focus and my mind, my mind was probably wandering, trying to do too much. And, uh, you know, it just didn't feel like I was out there feeling comfortable, you know. So for me, it's just go out there, be comfortable, and go out there and play. And uh, just let the game come to me, you know, not, not to go out there and force things like that. I don't want to use the word hype, man, but do you have, like, any mentors or anybody who might, after a game like that, take you to the side and kind of build you up? I got a lot of good teammates. Um, I think almost the whole team pretty much came up to me and you know showed me some love after that after that game. I mean, they knew it was tough for me, but uh, you know them guys rocking with me and they 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 all there they all there sticking with me. So that's all that mattered. That just shows me shows them guys got the trust in me. You know, so for me it's you know we had we we have our bad days and you know when it's, it's about how you bounce back from. Them. What about the vote of confidence that Wilkes showed in you? It shows, it shows that he got a lot of faith and trust in me to go out there and play, and play on Thursday. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for that, and, you know, I'm going to just take advantage of it. Thank you. Thank you.